What's up everybody, my name is Dan Berg, aka Fireberg. I'm a hip-hop and electronic music producer, and I'm a big fan of the Ensonic ASR10 sampler keyboard. Today I want to do a demonstration of stereo chopping. Chopping is when you sample a sound and cut it up into pieces and lay it on a keyboard or MPC pads so that you can isolate different parts of the sound and use them rhythmically to fit into the context of the music you're making. With the Ensignique, when you're sampling in stereo, the left channel will be put on layer one and the right channel will be put on layer two. When it comes time to copy these and move them somewhere else, you need to make sure that the ASR knows that they're still a pair so that you can affect them together. And it can get really confusing if they're not linked because when you change sample lens or any other parameters and they're not matching, it'll sound very confusing. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. This is a Michael Howell guitar, guitar solo record. couple different sections there to work with. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to assign it to a key. So I'm going to use middle C. We just created a stereo sample. The left channel is on layer one and the right, cha right channel is on layer two. They are linked. You have to make sure that stereo linking is on. So you go to edit layer, go to the right, and one of the later parameters is stereo layer link on. There's a couple times where you'll want it off, but for now we want to make sure that that's on. All right, I'm gonna trim this uh, edit wave. Sample start. Now, I, what I like to do is, uh, is boost the sample. So basically what this does is that to make sure that you have enough headroom, the ASR takes negative 12 dB off of your sample anytime you sample. And what boost does, it puts it back on. But what a lot of people have noted is that it adds a little something. It adds a little, little grit to it, um, which gives it a lot of... <clears throat> You know, which is one of the things that we always want is just to make it sound different and sound and sound ri more rich. Anyway, so I just put boost on. So it's louder. Obviously, that's going to affect your perception of whether this is better or not. But um, I've noticed that it adds a lot. Um, next, I'm going to edit pitch. And I'm going to, it's already said that the root key is on C4, um, but I want to make sure that my range is just limited to the one key, not that I'm going to be using it in different pitches, no. So I, I set them both to C4. No, 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 other keys are playing except for this. I'm in 1L and I'm going to 1. Um, now I copy the wave sample, same instrument, to the same layer, the left layer. Parameters only. Okay. Now I go to 2, the right side, I go to 2, which the even numbers will all be in the right side and the odd numbers will all be in the left side. And there's, we're still working with two layers. Um, I'm copying that, but I'm going to copy it to the, to the right side, to layer two. And now it'll create a new layer, a new wave sample, four. So now, I just made a new pair. I can edit three now, and one will stay the same. But what I first need to do 
is change the key the three and four are going to be located at. So I go into pitch, make sure that three is selected, which will also be affecting four. I go into pitch, I change the root key to D. So now I'm also going to change the range to D. So these are the same thing, but now they're two different, two different samples. I can affect them separately. So what I'll do So right now you should if you have some kind of meter or if you're just using headphones you should be able to hear that both of these have sound on both channels. And if you're if you messed it up somehow then it can get really complicated um, because the ASR starts mapping one channel on the left across the keyboard while the right channel gets lost and you have to find it. So it's really important when you're doing stereo chopping to be very systematic. I have, I'm in my left side. I'm selecting the second set of sample of second pair of samples, which is starting with three. Command copy wave sample, same instrument to layer one. <clears throat> Parameters only. And then right after that, I'll go into two, I'll go find four. four. I'll go into layer two, I'll find sample four, and I'll copy that one to two R. Now five and six have been created go back, make sure to go back to the left side. That's where you want to change any parameters from, if they're a pair. Go back to the left side, go on to 5, um, and now that's going to be affecting 6 as well. Um, I want to put the pitch on E. Thanks for watching. This is the record I was using, Michael Howe. It's a guitar solo record, really beautiful. Um, just to review, there's two layers going on, um, and we're trying to keep the respective stereo wave samples linked so that we can edit them together. And this, this means that you need to keep copying the left side into the left channel and the right side into the right channel, and keep them separate like that. Uh, message me, like me on Facebook, my website is firebreakmusic.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, share something again soon. Take care.